Hey, what's going on, Bully Fam? This is Angel over at Double Muscle Line Bulls, um, giving you another quick breeder's hack. Um, pretty much, uh, you hear the hungry puppies. Um, pretty much, if you use any kind of powdered milk formula for your puppies, something like this, let's just say your mother's not giving enough milk or you wanna help mom or whatever, there's one little, I'm gonna show you exactly what you're supposed to do with this milk. Throw it in the trash. It's trash. Do not use it. Um, you will get your puppies constipated. Um, it, it's it's just it, it, I've lost puppies using it, everything like that. I'm gonna show you how to make your own formula that's giving them the proper nutrients and everything like that. It's gonna keep them nice and fat and not have to worry about because of the powder and things like that getting constipated puppies that'll die on you. So I'm gonna show you how to make your own formula that's not even near as expensive as these as, as those formulas and um, will keep you having nice fat puppies. Five ingredients that you need. Mayo, carrot syrup, um, goat's milk, the yogurt, and then you're gonna want an egg. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of all these ingredients and I'm gonna tell you the exact measurements and everything you need, mix it into a bowl. And I don't know if you guys, if you, if you guys heard, we have some hungry puppies, so we're gonna do this quick so then we can get to feeding them. So what we're gonna start with is we're gonna start with our goat's milk. So like this, yet again, just regular goat's milk, you can go ahead and buy it like a Walmart or something like that. All these ingredients you can buy at a Walmart. So you're going to get um, 10 ounces. You're gonna use 10 ounces of the goat milk. Um, a lot of these cans are like 12 ounces. So you'll just use like a nice little measuring cup like this and just make sure you pour out 10 and then you can save the other two ounces and put it in the fridge or something like that. After we poured the goat's milk, you're gonna to want to use a cup of the Greek yogurt. And we're gonna use um, one tablespoon of mayo. And then after your tablespoon of the mayo, you're gonna to wanna to use your carrot syrup. So you can get this, um, for those who don't know what carrot syrup is, it's um, it's like a molasses, it's like a, 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 a sugar syrup, pretty much. Um, you can find this in the baking aisle of any store, grocery store. Um, you can't, you, other than Walmart, you guys can literally find these at any grocery store. I don't have uh, a half a teaspoon, so I have one fourth of a teaspoon, so you're just gonna use two of those. Purchase your tracks today. What we're gonna do is, this is the last part, and this is just adding our egg to it. So we're going to add the egg yolk, not the egg whites. Um, egg whites can lead to kind of like a whole slew of problems with the puppies. So just to avoid all that, you're just going to use the egg yolks. So I'm gonna go ahead and separate this now. Purchase your tracks today. And now that you got the whole mixture, um, now you're just gonna go ahead and whisk the whole thing. And just blend everything up kind of together. And when it's all done, it should look something like this. You know, a nice mixed watery consistency. No clumps, none of that. You know, I got some a little bit on the side, but um, that's not going into the bottles. And literally, um, after you have the mixture just looking like, looking like that, nice and um, a liquid consistency, we're gonna go, you're gonna go ahead and put it in your bottles. All right, and now here's the other part. So the other part is, um, obviously you're gonna have more than you probably will need for that one particular feeding. So what we do is we go ahead and use like water bottles like this, and we fill them up with the milk, you know, tighten the cap on, throw it in the refrigerator, and pretty much it, um, you know, it'll stay good until you need to use it. And um, it'll be good for a few days, basically. The milk will stay good for a few days. So um, if you're using it to feed your puppies, you know that they're gonna go through something like this <laughs> very fast. Pretty much, like I said, it's good for a few days. I fill this all the way to the top so that it, there's really no air whatsoever because the one thing you will find is that with this mixture is that there'll be air bubbles at the top. You need to let the mixture sit for a little bit so that the air bubbles kind of all raise to the top and, 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 and um, pop. 
because if the air bubble, if, if you mix it, shake it up a lot, and then give it right to your puppy, um, it'll cause the puppy to have uh, gas and, uh, and discomfort. So you always want to let this milk kind of sit first for a quick minute and just l allow the air to escape. Put your cap on, throw this in the fridge, and um, pretty much use it when needed. And that's pretty much how you make your own formula. So, um, I don't want to see anybody using this. See you later, guys. And then as you can see, they get nice, nice, nice fat bellies. You know, and that's what you want every time.